Hello there. I'm just moving the camera a little bit. There we go. Um, this whole entire lesson is talking about relieving tension and relieving cramping of the hands. It's probably one of the, the worst scenarios to be in as a guitar player. It really sucks. It's a really awful kind of experience, but it does come up and it does happen. More so as a beginner, but it even happened to me 11 years into playing guitar. Okay. It, in fact, it literally just happened to me like a couple of months ago. So hopefully these exercises and these tips will help you kind of build hand strength, but also um, keep your hands limber because that's the most important thing. Now, if you are a beginner, now I'm saying this, if you're really a beginner, like a year in um, or less, you know, usually a year or two, I would consider you a beginner, even up to two and a half, three years for some people. Um, but if you're a beginner and you are just starting out and you still are getting the hang of things on acoustic guitar, I would say you stick to 11 gauge strings or so. Usually 12s is okay too, but I would stick to 11s or 12s. Make sure your guitar is set up correctly. Same thing on electric guitar. I would stick with 10s, strictly 10s, I would say is the way to go on an electric guitar, whether you have a Les Paul or a, a Stratocaster. That is your baseline, starting at those spots, because you can go lower or you can go higher in gauge and thickness um, on electric that way, okay? You don't want to keep flip-flopping, going all crazy gauges or whatever. If there's a detuned song or whatever that you want to learn, just learn it on that set as best as you can and or get another cheap guitar that you can change all the tunings you want to but the main guitar that you're playing and learning on just keep it on tens or on acoustic keep it to 11s or 12s okay that's something i have to say right off the bat because it's super important the next thing uh the exercises these are all to build hand strength and these are all very 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 important the first one i'm going to go over is more of a technique than an actual exercise but it's still really handy it's the idea of bending you're using your bends using your middle finger ring finger and your pinky you don't really use your first finger to bend though you can um, but it's usually using those fingers to bend and that will build hand strength like no other really um, i would highly recommend the guthrie govan bending Masterclass. You can literally type in Guthrie Govan bending and it's like the first, you know, it's like a four or five part video series that he did all about bending. Um, follow that. Do it because that will really help you out a lot immensely in a big, big, big way. Uh, the next exercise after you do some bending, after you've gotten your toes wet to that idea, you don't have to do the whole entire thing to a, an, an exacting kind of thing. But it starts you out, and then you can do um, individual finger uh, kind of exercises where you are going up the neck or up the strings. You assign your first finger to be the first fret, middle finger to be the second fret, ring finger to be the third fret, pinky to be the fourth fret. And you start on the low E, and you just go up in, in chromatic motion. So you're not, you're not playing scales or anything. It's not even the chromatic scale. Um, but it is, you just go up one string, then the next string, the next, right? And the idea here is that you want to be able to hear every individual note and you want to start slow and then get faster and faster and faster. And it's not about playing, you know, really, really fast. It's the idea though this will help you out with that definitely um, it's more of the idea of building dexterity and knowing exactly how much pressure each finger needs to go up each individual string and knowing how much pressure it needs to press down and create that note sometimes it can be a lot of pressure sometimes it's really not that much um, you know so again it's super important that you have the guitar set up whatever you're using if you have an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar I would practice this everything everything that i'm telling you practice it on an acoustic guitar first except the bending don't practice the bending on acoustic practice the, the exercises i'm showing you right now for the finger exercises on acoustic if you have one 
Um, and I'm not talking about nylon acoustic, I'm talking specifically steel string acoustic. Um, if you do happen to have one, it helps you out a lot. This is how I do all of my training, is, is acoustic guitar. Okay, so, um, so I would do one string at a time going up. <laughs> And again, you want to hear each and every individual note. And then you can decide, hey, let me mix it up a little bit. Let me do, instead of one, two, three, four, one, four, three, two. Something like that. I obviously messed up. Um, and you want to be able to do that, you know, going up, but as well as going down. Can obviously tell I need to practice more okay um, the other thing is stretching out your fingers and you'll notice that if I want to stretch out further my thumb this whole entire time is behind the neck it's very important to keep the thumb behind the neck but if I want to stretch out I move the thumb lower and my wrist comes outward like this and you can see I can go from one three five very easily so I might do that one three five Right? And I might go down. Just like that. And again, you can create whatever sort of pattern you want as long as each fret is one finger. So um, I could do one, two, three, six, maybe. No, that's way too much. Um, let's do this kind of crazy stretch, which is one, three, five, or one, three, four, six. I can barely do it, but it's doable. Um, and again, all of these will stretch out your hand. And if, if at any point, any point you feel any sort of pain, stop, wait like five, 10 minutes, and kind of just stick to one string and see what's going on. Is it the fact that maybe your thumb is way too high up and it hurts your hand doing this? Then you have to move your thumb lower. Um, if you realize your wrist is too far towards you, too far back, you need to stretch it out more this way. Okay, so don't injure yourself doing any of this because uh, I'm not going to be responsible. That's going to be on you. You have to obviously be very self-aware. Injuring yourself is not going to be the way to move forward. If you feel any pain, you stop and then go back a bit. You know, maybe maybe the stretching is way too much. Keep it just a one, two, three, four for, for a while. Um, how long would you practice this? I don't know. It's up to you. Um, I use this exercise for picking technique as well as for um, just limbering up my hand. The last thing uh, for an exercise you can do in terms of on the guitar, if, you're on, if you have a guitar, is to do this kind of chromatic sort of, uh, or not chromatic, but diminished kind of chord exercise, which goes like this. <laughs> here is I'm just using a guitar pick or you can use your thumb or whatever you want to use and I'm just doing from the E A D G string and I have first fret on the E second fret A third fret um, D and then fourth fret G and what this is is just a simple chord shape where each string is assigned a finger and each fret is assigned a finger and I just use the guitar pick and go up Right, keep going. Once I get to the 12th fret um, of the G string with my pinky, I know I'm I'm done. Okay, then I might switch it the other way, where I have first fret G, second fret D, third fret A, fourth fret low E. So I might do this. That kind of there. And you can see for this specific chord shape, my thumb, instead of being right smack dab in the middle or kind of this side, it's actually lower. It's actually kind of like this. 
And I know I'm done when my pinky reaches the 12th fret of the low E. The other exercise is to kind of alternate between the two. I might go like this. Which is way too crazy for some people. Um, I don't even do that. I don't even practice that, but it is a good way to do it. Um, the very last thing is, let's say you don't have an acoustic guitar near you or on you for whatever reason. Um, let's do some hand exercises. These are very, very important. Um, and I highly recommend that you do them. Um, the one thing I do recommend is even if you are a beginner, intermediate, advanced, whatever kind of player you are, is do this exercise because it really helps you limber up and more so it just gets your hands prepared for the amount of stress they're going to go through, okay? Um, number one thing that I do recommend, and I'm, I'm a kind of guy that uses a watch every time I play, um, don't use a watch, okay? Get away from using it, uh, take it off, put it on top of your amp or something, or put it in your pocket, whatever it is. Um, because I started to realize that with all the crazy stuff that I'm doing with the guitar playing, is that if I have something kind of binding my wrist, even if it's a wristband or anything, um, it starts to hurt. It's creating a tension um, more along the, the wrists and tendons here, and it makes it very sensitive. And you do have a lot of nerves going on in your hand, and you don't want anything to pinch a nerve. The first thing I want you to do is to just take each hand, kind of roll it around like this. Okay, it helps a lot just to kind of move that wrist around. Then you could switch around to the other hand if you want. Just rolling the wrist around. Okay. Now the next thing I want you to do is for both hands, kind of doing this kind of motion, these balling kind of fist motions doesn't matter how long you do it um, and I've already broken my pinky on my right hand as you can see and so even even any little bit helps you know to, to kind of help um, now take your thumb on your left hand and take it all the way across to the to the pinky then to the ring finger then to the middle finger first finger pinky ring middle first pinky and keep cycling right and just really stretch out like this. Hold it for a few seconds. Let it go. Do it again. Now let's do each finger, kind of holding it down. And just really, really stretching them out. And again, if it hurts at all at any point, just stop, wait a little bit, and reassess <laughs> what's going on. Um, and then what I might do is something like I'm, I'm actually going to physically kind of move and, and massage each individual finger. You know, with my left hand, fretting hand first, and then go over to the strumming hand. And then the last thing I might do is if I do have a table, uh, or, or even just on your guitar, I kind of do this kind of motion, where I just kind of lightly press down and create strains on my right hand, and then on my left hand as well, just like that. And now I can just, again, start to do this motion, and I'm all set. You know, I've kind of already got my hands limbered. They feel like they're ready and they're prepared to actually do whatever it is that they, they need to do and play, okay? Um, hopefully this video has been helpfully, helpful, helpful, I can't even talk, for you, um, because it, it is a very, um, just an interesting topic that usually goes um, out the window whenever we play guitar. But it's a very important topic, and I'm, I'm telling you, I just went through this and it sucks. Um, it's the most awful feeling thing where it's like you feel like your hand just literally cannot play, you know. And again, it's it can be early signs of carpal tunnel. Um, it could be something very serious if you're not careful. So I highly just recommend that you just be as careful as possible when you are playing. Um, and don't overdo it, okay? Don't go super heavy on a guitar in terms of the strings if you can't handle it. Um, and again, anytime you go up in a gauge, if you're going from nines to tens or tens to elevens, um, do these exercises to help train your hand again, especially bending. If I'm not used to playing a set of elevens, what I'll do is I'll just start doing bending exercises. And these are what uh, Guthrie Govan talks about in his video. 
and they're going to be the link to the video is going to be in the description of this video okay so please watch that and it will help you out thank you so much have a good one